This is the Starlink Report. For December 13th, 2021, I'm Huey Poplock. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video. Many of those who are waiting for Starlink are learning that they are going to have to wait even longer for the service. Starlink recently set an update to many people who have placed their pre-orders and it's not looking good. They are being told that it could be a full year away, mid-2022. Starlink says in its update that over 14 million people have inquired about Starlink and that right now it's in over 20 countries. They're asking those who have already committed to check the delivery timeline in their account. It received over a half a million pre-order deposits through its official web portal, Starlink.com. The company has faced challenges with the production of Starlink antenna due to silicone chip shortages caused by the coronavirus pandemic that affected many industries. They say they're working hard across their engineering supply chain and production teams to improve and streamline the product and factory to increase their production rate. However, many people have canceled their deposit and got a refund. The recently released rectangle dish is designed for high volume manufacturing. They have recently launched their 31st Starlink satellite group with the newly designed satellites with the interlaser links that can talk to each other. Starlink 1.5 laser feature enables the satellites to transfer data between one another much faster without the need to directly communicate with the ground stations on Earth. Light travels faster in the vacuum of outer space than through the fiber optic cables used by terrestrial internet infrastructures. On December 2nd, SpaceX launched the first of four planned Falcon 9 rocket launches this month with its workhorse rocket carrying a stack of 48 Starlink satellites and two Black Sky Earth observation satellites into orbit. Engineers designed a new rectangular antenna to connect the network that would enable them to manufacture in a cost-effective way. We modified the bill of materials where we needed to such that we wouldn't have those constraints with the new dish. The new Starlink antenna is already available for pre-order. Johnson said the company is manufacturing 5,000 user terminals per week and aims to increase production to multiple times of that with the new design. Here is the new design as opposed to the former dishy. And looking at the Starlink dish itself, you'll see that it's much smaller. It's, it's 19 by 12, where it was a 20, 23 inches in circumference. It weighs just over nine pounds against the 16 pound of the dishy. The biggest differences in the router is the fact that the temperature is considerably different. The original dish had one ethernet port. The new dish, you have to have an adapter if you want to. The cable is slightly shorter. It's 75 feet instead of 100 feet. You can get a 175 foot cable. SpaceX and NASA are running into challenges in outer space. It all started on November 15th when Russia launched a missile strike to destroy one of its own old satellites in orbit during an anti-satellite test. The satellite was smashed into a thousand pieces that are orbiting Earth now and pose a potential threat to astronauts and operational satellites in orbit. The Russian authorities did not inform global space agencies it would conduct a missile test and the effects of the operation became a threat to NASA astronauts and Russian cosmonauts who are working aboard the International Space Station. The United States Department of Defense says it's tracking over 1,500 new pieces of debris caused by the missile strike. Some pieces are too small that cannot be traced but pose an equal danger to the astronauts in orbit because the pieces are flying at high speeds. The pieces in orbit can travel 10 times faster than a bullet, which can cause damage to other orbiting objects, including ISS. 
The astronauts had to take shelter inside their spacecraft when the ASAT took place because the debris is orbiting close to the space station every 90 minutes. Most recently, NASA postponed the spacewalk that was scheduled to take place on Tuesday, November 30th, due to a space debris alert by Mission Control. SpaceX founder Elon Musk shared that the company had to shift some Starlink satellite orbits to avoid collision with the space debris. Starlink utilizes an automated collision avoidance system ingesting data from the, from the 18th, the company told the FCC earlier this year. Satellites can autonomously evaluate risk and plan avoidance maneuvers without human input. Humans are still present in an oversight role as an added measure of safety, SpaceX stated. Each satellite can use their onboard Krypton-powered ion thrusters to move. This propulsion system can also be used to deorbit a satellite if it stops working. To avoid contributing to space junk, the satellites are designed to easily burn up in Earth's atmosphere. SpaceX Vice President of Commercial Sales, Jonathan Hofeller, said that SpaceX aims to offer Starlink Internet service to airlines as soon as possible, stating that they are already testing it with several aircraft. SpaceX founder Elon Musk shared earlier this year that Starlink is undergoing testing on Gulfstream jets and they are focused on obtaining a license to provide Internet aboard Boeing 737 and Airbus 320 aircraft as those serve the most number of people, he says. With the December 2nd Starlink deployment, SpaceX Constellation increased to around 1,892 internet beaming satellites in low Earth orbit. Over the next seven years, the Constellation could have over 12,000 satellites that will blanket the Earth with high-speed broadband internet connection. Elon Musk tells SpaceX employees that Starship engine crisis is creating a risk of bankruptcy some of the key points, Elon Musk described a dire situation with SpaceX development of Raptor rocket engines the day after Thanksgiving in a co company-wide email. The Raptor production crisis is much worse than it seemed a few weeks ago, Musk wrote. Raptor engines power the company's Starship rocket, with Musk adding that SpaceX faces a genuine risk of bankruptcy if we cannot achieve a Starship flight rate of at least two every two weeks next year. This week, a Starlink user from the province of Newfoundland in Canada shared that the network reached a new internet download speed record. It surpassed 400 megabits per second. This has been the Starlink Report for December 13th, 2021. I'm Huey Poplock. The Starlink Report.